Welcome to Programming with Benz. At Programming with Benz, we demystify the art of coding. In this tutorial, you will learn about what? This tutorial is about doing test-driven development in practice. And the step is like this. You write a failing test, then you write the minimum amount of code to make the test to pass. Then you refactor the code to improve its design. And the benefit here is that you have improved code quality, you have early bug detection. It is easy for you to detect a bug. I will show you how this is done. You have increased confidence in code changes. And of course, a better test design. In this tutorial, we will do test-driven development in C++. For the setup of your environment, I have another video where I showed you how to get started with CMake. This is my setup for this tutorial. So uh, this is my code editor. I'm using Visual Studio Code here uh, for simplicity and to make everything from scratch. So you see how it works. Uh, for, from Visual Studio Code, I will go to open a file. I will go to opening a folder. I'll open a folder. I'll create a folder here called yes, TDD like that. Yes, let's open this folder called TDD. And here, um, I will just create the, the file structure. Uh, this is my file structure. I have a directory here called include. This is where I'll have all the header files. I have a directory here called SROC source, which is where I'll have all the CPP file and a directory here called tests. This is where I'll have all my tests. This is the startup of CMake. So I'll include directories. I'll let me include the header files. As I told you, I'll be using Cache 2 for this uh, tutorial. Cache 2 is a modern C++ native uh, test framework for unit tests. You can have Cache 2 installed as a system library using this method or this method. But if you don't want to have it installed like that, you just want to include the library for your testing, you can use this method to copy the code here. In this tutorial, I will use this method. Let me just copy that. This will be pulled to your, into your project. Let us create that test file here. And in our CMake, since it's inside the, so, the, the test directory, so we'll put test CPP. To make this C test to find this, so we'll do like, uh, we'll need to go again to the documentation and copy this, these two lines and paste here. The CMake is complete. Uh, let us try to build this and see if something, if everything is working. So this is the structure. I will create a build directory, make directory build, and I go into that directory and I'll CMake. So you see it's cloning catch directly from the repository. And let me make like that. That's the first thing. When you touch anything on your code, try to compile and see if everything works because many things can go wrong. Yes, then everything is working. If you now you see that if I write C test and you say no test found. Yeah, no test found because our, our test file is empty. To write a test, we need to add this header. Go to our file and we put here. Create a file here called functions.h and I will put functions.cp. So we'll do some I will do aromatic operations. We'll test all the aromatic operators if they are working. But let us write our test first. So let us include our functions header. Remember, we need to write a failing test. We have some examples here, how we can write our tests. We let us take this one and paste it in our program. Testing addition. And this one will be add zero and zero. Let it be zero. And let's take out this one, change this one. So um, subtract and then subtraction and then subtract. And then we do require, uh, how do we subtract? Uh, so we'll have a function there called subtract and one and then one, three, and let this be minus two. Let us try to compile this again. Hey, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing. Let's continue. Uh, we go back to this and we do make, let us make the project. Yeah, so it doesn't see functions. This functions file is not seen. Okay, and that's okay. Functions, functions. Oh, let us include that in our project. In order to do this, we need to include the header here. And if we make the project again, functions. Did I include it well? Good stuff. Functions.h. It should be like that. So let us make again. Now it should have a different kind of error. Yeah, it doesn't see add, it doesn't see subtract. That's the first thing. When it's happened like that, it means you are on the right track. So let us write the function add, int add, and we have two numbers. 
integer left integer right like that integer subtract take left and right we go to our function here and let us also define it here put the definitions there i'll just copy this this is add so we're just doing like this and left so this is subtract so we subtract left or right from left because if we have one minus two so we are doing from left to right right left minus right and let us see if this is passive there is an error somewhere yeah there is an error in our code syntax error this one and let us run again subtract what does it say x1 uh, let us do. always go to the first error when you see uh, undeclared identifier subtract okay uh, subtract it should be subtract subtract and let me see if that's how it's called i'll copy it here so that is one thing you see that we are now fixing our code already we are already fixing our code based on the tests let's make the project again okay see tests and our project is passing good stuff that's that is test driven development it means our tests are passing let us add other test cases we can also add numbers like 1.5 and then 2.5 what do you think this answer will be yes i think you are thinking that this will be answer will be 4 that this is will not pass yeah it will not pass and uh, let's see why that's a, a very good thing with test different development let we'll make the project again i'll just make and then i run the c test i'll put verbosity so you can see where the error is coming from yes our test ran and voila we see that our test has failed require this one we said add 1.5 and then 2.5 the answer is 4 but it is expecting 3 but it got 4 why what do you think is the error is because our add function we are working with integers and integers when we are working with integers in c++ and you give a value like this one 1.5 it the compiler or a c++ program doesn't know how to manage 1.5 as an integer it just takes one and then takes two that's why it asks them as integers and give us three so does it mean that we should create a function for add double for example uh, let me put double here and int or double like that so that we can manage that situation let's see how this works as you saw in the presentation we pick one test write test make it pass and then we refactor so this is refactoring now we are refactoring to make sure the add function works. Let us repeat this, so it will be that, and let's run the test again. Let's see if it passes. Our compiler is very clever enough. C++ is a very powerful language. It's very clever enough to know that in this place, when we call this add, it is calling the other add, the add with the double. This is called um, polymorphism. But there is a better way that we can do this. We can use template metaprogramming to do that. If we do like this, add, 0 0.5 and 1 what do you think the answer will be oh now nah, it doesn't know it doesn't know what we have done it's confused it's ambiguous yes so in order for us to make it clear to our compiler to know what to do because that is see that is a double and it's an int so we just we we'll fool it like that now it should pass yeah, we successfully fought it. Uh, but there is a better way that we can make this very robust. So you can change that to a template like that, like this. And we do like this. Add and T and T. And I take that. I take this one out. Um, I don't need these ones anymore. In our test, we need to tell it which kind of thing we are adding. Are we adding a double? Just like we have in the standard library. So if I take this one out now and I run this program again. Yeah, so now our code is working like bulletproof. Now we are telling our compiler exactly what to do. Even when we write 1.1 1 .1 without a point, but we are telling that treat everything as a double. Then it translated to double. We, we have now written a code based on the test and we modified our code. And now it looks better. For you see, one of the things is to refactor the code to improve its design. Now we have improved the design of our code such that it can work bulletproof. So that is it. I will upload this code uh, to GitHub so you can also get a feel of it.